Hi, um, today I'd like to show you how to create your own drum rack using the analog drums uh, big mono samples. Uh, they're available for free so you can download them. I'll put the download link um, in the description of this video. And the big mono pack uh, includes 254 wave samples and we'll be using those to create our own drum rack. They include uh, the kick, snare drum, uh, toms, cymbals, so everything you need to create your own drum rack. As you can see on the website the big mono package already comes uh, ready to be used with uh, native instruments battery 3 or contact or uh, logic but we're not going to do that we're going to get our hands dirty and create our own drum rack in Ableton from the samples. So to get started you just download the whole package uh, on packet somewhere. I'll have it over here. As you can see there's a battery and contact folder. We're not going to use that. What I'm inter interested in is the wave folder that has all the samples that we'll be using for the drum rack. So switch over to um, Ableton Live and in the browser locate uh, where you have put the <coughs> sample files so you can easily access them uh, in a minute. We're going to just be dragging and dropping the, those into a uh, sampler uh, device. Switch over to the devices, instruments, sampler. I'm going to start off with a, a template that I use. Drag and drop it. And if you don't or if you haven't uh, seen my uh, sample template video you can use the default template drum one shot but I'm using a slightly different one. So now that we have this we switch back to our um, wave files and I'll start off with the drum kick. So there's like 12 samples select all of them and drag them into the sampler over here okay and hide this for a minute uh, in case you're not seeing the whole piano roll you can right click here and change how it looks so s small medium large like that uh, have all the samples selected now drag this around the root key which in my case is C3 on the keyboard and have all the samples react to just that key on the keyboard. Switch to velocity still with all the samples selected. I'll now determine uh, which sample to play at which velocity and you normally do this by dragging uh, one of the zones here to where you want it to be but there is a quick and easy way to do this by selecting all of them right clicking at the top and select distribute ranges equally and BAM there you go okay let me switch the view again to medium now I can see all of them as you can see Ableton has arranged the uh, velocities for me which is nice now select sample here I'm gonna set the scale to zero make sure all the samples are selected because this is a per sample uh, setting there we go and nothing else needs to be changed here so switch to filter global uh, the volume here uh, will be determined by what you set here as uh, volume to velocity so the higher this setting is the lower you want the volume to be and the volume to velocity setting uh, kind of depends on how many samples you're using so the more samples you use the lower you probably want this value to be I'm gonna try with 30 and see how that works if you're not using a uh, drum template make sure that loop is set to trigger and voices is set to 4 and this button here re-trigger is not enabled so this is enabled this is disabled 
the decay depends on the length of the sample. So if I switch back to the sample and select one file here, I can see the length is about three seconds, but there's a lot of silence here. So about two seconds should be more than enough. So increase this a bit to like, well, maybe even 150. That should be good. And basically, that's all there is to it. Uh, one more thing you could do is here in the MIDI settings for the velocity you could do a pitch change but not too much like only 0 0.5 so when a sample is played at a different volume the pitch will slightly change which gives it a more natural uh, sound okay now uh, ready to test this a uh, little thing um, remember that we set the key to C3, so add some MIDI here to the C3 key, and we should be hearing our bass drum, hopefully. Let's try this. Yay! Okay, put it a bit slower and change a few volumes here, 74, let's do 90 and all the way up yeah that seems to be fine and now that we have this working, go back to our sampler once it's uh, finished, like every, everything is set up properly, I normally transform this into a simpler. So just right click here and select sampler to simpler. And then of course rename this. So rename, this is a kick, it's the big mono uh, Ludwig. And with that done, you can now save it into your either into your library or into your uh, project. Uh, I'm gonna save it in my project for now. So go simpler, current project, just drag and drop it in there. Bam, done. Okay, so now we're done with the kick drum. There's still a whole bunch of others to be done. Uh, there's like two toms, there's the snare drum, left hand and right hand, uh, there's like the hi-hat, uh, it's gonna be a few hi-hats, like uh, closed, open, foot, that kind of stuff. The nice thing is though that we already have the kick now and we could just duplicate this, change the samples and m make the rest of our kit really really quick. So I'll quickly show you how to do that for the, let's see, the left hand snare drum. So right click here, just select duplicate. I'm gonna start off by renaming them so I don't confuse them. This is gonna be the snare. And it's a uh, Rogers. left hand. So remember that we made a sampler, uh, sorry, a simpler out of this. I'm gonna go back to the sampler because I need to replace these uh, samples here. So select all of them, delete them, grab the snare once it goes from 1 to 16, yep, Dra drag and drop. Select uh, key C3 velocity same thing as before distribute the ranges equally and there we go and because I duplicated this from the kick I don't really need to change anything here so the volume is good volume to velocity uh, the decay uh, everything is uh, set up correctly except for one last thing which is in the sample tab with all the samples selected you'll see the scale here uh, 
which previously was zero now went back to 100 and that's because we uh, changed the samples for this device so with all the samples selected just put this back to zero and we're now basically ready to test this one so. So that is two down and a whole bunch of others to go. So basically from here on it's just a rinse and repeat by duplicating one of the tracks with a sampler in it and then replacing uh, the sample files here and that's about it. And once you have all of them done uh, and saved you can then start adding them to a um, drum rack. Just gonna remove that one again and quickly show you how to uh, add them to a drum rack. I still need to save this one. I don't think I saved it already. So add the snare to uh, the current project but as a simpler. So before I do that I need to convert this sampler to simpler. There we go. Drag and drop and we're ready. Okay instruments drum rack. I'm gonna grab a new drum rack here find my simpler again over here the kick drum drive it on C1 the snare drum drive it on D1 and voila we have a drum rack which of course you can now also save and reuse just like that and to round this up I'm gonna switch to a new document that has like uh, the full set in it so you can hear what it sounds like so as you can see here I have the full kit that has all the instruments in them it has the toms, the right, the hi-hat etc this is what it sounds like That's it. Thanks for watching.